after show, Juliette Lewis from Camping, Sundays at 10 on HBO. Ricky Lake's documentary uh, she produced is called Weed the People in Theaters Friday. Congratulations. Find right. the bar, uh, Gage and Matthew. Great to see you. And um, I just met Gage on the subway a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, you did, actually. Yes. I, I walked up to him, gave him a big hug. Yes, he did. He goes, can I hug you? I was like, can I hug you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But just to be clear, that's not how you got this bartending gig. It is not. It is a coincidence. It is a huge coincidence. That okay. Happened. Good. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to Jessica from St. Louis. Hey, Jessica. And, yeah. Hey. Hey, Andy. Happy National Talk TV Talk Show Host Day. Thank you so much. It means a lot. It's oh, a very welcome. important holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. Much love from your hometown. Thank you. My question is for the infamous <coughs> Ricky Lake. Okay. As being a pioneer in the talk show host industry and doing all of your accolades, which celebrity do you think would be successful at having a daytime talk show? Ooh. Oh, today, yeah. Oh my, um, that's so interesting. I don't really think about putting, hiring people for talk shows, but I'm, I mean, Kelly Clarkson I hear is gonna have a talk show oh, and yeah. I really like her. I think yeah. she's yeah. really authentic, she's quick. She's, she's just, she seems to have what I, I think it takes, which is, you know, really likable and really, I think she cares about people, I believe her. So yeah, I'm rooting for her. You know, you co-hosted the talk the other day, there's a opening there. Yeah, are you, uh, for Kelly Clarkson or for, for me? For you. Oh, for me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I had a great time with those ladies, and I was really happy because I'm out promoting something I believe in so strongly. I don't think I want to... I, I, I mean, I would do it maybe maybe short stint, like to fill in yeah. for somebody. I said, I, you know, because it was really fun. It was really easy. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't think Boy, I'm going to... Boy, you got rich off of that show. Uh, <laughs> I think you've surpassed me, my friend. We've been friends for many, many years. I do believe, yes. Uh, yeah. We'll talk after the yeah. show. <laughs> Let's go to Valerie from California. Hey, Valerie. <clears throat> hey, Andy, how are you? Good, how are Hi, you? Ricky. Fine. Good. Um, I've got a question for Juliet. Okay. Juliet, I, I'm a true heart fan for you. For you. Oh. And I was just wondering, what was it like working with Robert De Niro? Um, one of the highlights of my creative life. He really believed in me, and when you're younger like that, you do need people to believe in in what you do um because that naturalism or what i was what i was doing then wasn't necessarily what people wanted from young people acting so he really um gave me a huge opportunity him and scorsese and he's a gentleman de niro he's a man of few words a lot of people will tell you that but a, a real classy person. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. Let's go to Craig from New York City. Hey, Craig, what's your question? Hi, um, my question is for Ricky. Okay. Hey, um, <coughs> lifelong fan. Um, Thank My question is, what do you think Divine's career trajectory would have been uh, for she to uh, still be alive? Yeah. And what is your favorite memory with her? That's oh, a great question. That is a great question. You know, by the way, uh, Rocco, we should get a mm. shot of that painting back there. Ricky, it's still there. Oh um, Can I that, set up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a painting that Ricky's, um, Ricky's son, Owen, painted this painting. This is a, a uh, painting of Divine giving Ricky, uh, as Tracy Turnblad, a piggyback ride. That's a mm. photograph oh, that he made a painting of that Ricky donated to the clubhouse. I feel like yeah, when I we mean, started. Did he make it for you or I gave no, you No, I feel one? like no. he no. gave My son I, signed it. He's about Did you know 70s. that that's still in the clubhouse? No, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah I see it in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He knows yeah. it too. But um, to answer his question, um, you know, Divine was, for those of you who don't know and who are too young to know the original Hairspray, you need to go watch it. But Divine was 42 years old. He died eight days <coughs> after the movie opened. Oh Literally, my like, God. like, it was so tragic. He was so young. He died in his sleep. He was doing an episode of Married with Children and he didn't show up for work. I mean, it's just a saddest story. 
I think because he that would have that was that was the movie. It was a huge box office hit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was not huge. I mean, in, no, in, those, in days, those days, in those days, it yeah. was a critical success, and you know, and he had gotten all this other work. But you know, it's it's such a shame. But um, I loved in the beginning. He didn't really like me. He was really jealous. He wanted to play my part. Oh. Like literally, he wanted to play them because female trouble. He played the mother and the daughter. So yes. I didn't understand why he couldn't do it again. <laughs> but but he warmed up to me. He taught me how to ha walk in high heels and. Um, I'm so grateful. I've, I, you know, I had the time. Did he of my teach life. you how to dance? Or he anything? did. Oh yeah. yeah. And and how to like move. You know, I was a good dancer, but like walking in heels takes a certain skill. Yeah. And he was the one who taught me it. Didn't, uh, didn't you? Um, did you lose? That I'm like, did you lose yeah. your virginity on hairspray or crybaby? Crybaby. Crybaby. Oh. Yeah. Not, but not to Johnny Depp. Not to Johnny Depp. Right. Okay. But another actor, another really, really handsome actor. He yeah. was very kind to me, and I was very large, <laughs> and I was very happy to get it over with because I was almost 21. So it was like wow. I did that. Yeah. And but how great! Also, you were a big, you were a big gal, mm -hmm. and it was this guy made you feel. He was I mean, really sweet. Yeah, I yeah. had my first time was really, really That's a good one. Nice. All right, let's go back to the phones. Kim from Kansas, <laughs> like, oh. what's your question? <laughs> My question is, how does it feel being the new person on the Connors after all the controversy? It's a trip, exactly like that. Like, but really, um, to be on that set, I can't explain how special it is. I mean, I'm a fan of uh, John Goodman and Laurie Metcalf and Sarah Gilbert. I've known for 20 years. Um, so it's really special for me. I was like, "What a sitcom is this?" Um, right. And then I watched, I watched it again, and I couldn't believe how good the writing was. And I was sitting there laughing out loud. So I was like, "This is a no-brainer." Yeah. It feels really good. So I hope it has a long run for everybody involved because yeah. they're actors. putting their hearts into it. Yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> last call of the night, Sarah from Ohio. Hey, Sarah, what's your question? Oh, hey, more. Andy. Yes. I know. Sorry. Um, my question was for both ladies. Okay. Um, and it was concerning, um, given all they've been through, what advice would they give to women now after they've lived through the things that they have and experienced the things they have? Like, what would be the best advice they would give to a woman now? Wow. Mm. Advice. That's advice. Good. Oh, you want to go first? Tough, man. Living life is tough. I don't know. I mean, it's. Um, I think um, you to be present. For me, I, it's little practical things when you get overwhelmed because there's a lot of overwhelming things going on. Um, I go for walks. And I think it's really important for me to to commune with nature. So that's how I connect. With stillness and and goodness that, uh, and then also people you love. Don't take them for granted. Uh, uh, that might be one That's thing. Nice. Yeah. Ricky, do you have any? Yeah, I mean, I you know I lost my my favorite person in the world, my my beloved last year, 20 months ago, Christian Evans, and um, I lost him to mental illness and suicide. So I've literally been through my darkest. My darkest time these last these last year and a half, and um, for me, going out in nature, go I mean, literally like putting yeah. one foot in front of the other. I have a little dog named Mama, and getting her out in, into the sun and to the beach every day. You know, she forced me to just like I would smile at the sun mm. and try to be grateful. And um, but I, I don't. I, I, I being present is really is really big for me, and being grateful for what I have. And uh, yeah. All right. Last call tonight, Kara from Virginia. Hey, what's your question? Hi, everyone. How are you tonight? Great. Awesome. Good. It's a delay. <laughs> this is real. Yeah. Juliet, I'm just wondering, um, with some of the darker films you've made, have you ever had any nightmares as a result of the roles you've played? No, my nightmares were just in my own life. Um, <laughs> the, the movies were quite a relief and a, and a release. Wow. Some somewhere to put that kind of, um, you know, pain, as it were, and stuff. It, okay, too much information. No, it's all good. Um, but you know, I really love drama and having a place to um, put that that kind of humanity. Very good. And we are loving camping, which isn't a drama. It's a yeah, comedy. It's comedy. great. Uh, Sundays at 10 on HBO. Everybody see Ricky's documentary in theaters Friday. And check out the guys. Where the guys are found.
Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.